Hey guys, in this video I wanted to talk a little bit about testing expectations to make sure that you're going to get full credit, get your extra credit, and not get a zero on some of your exams. So um, before taking your exam, I highly suggest you do the review in my math lab. It'll give you a very good idea of what type of questions are on the exam. If you do it before the exam and with at least an 80%, you'll get extra credit, right? It'll help you review in the first place and then it'll get you extra credit in the end. So I highly suggest you do the review in my math lab before taking the test. I also, if I've posted any sort of extra um, worksheets or reviews, I suggest you do those too, right? More review doesn't hurt. So it's really important that you're doing the uh, reviews and practicing before the exams, not only to review uh, and also get comfortable, but you also get that extra credit if you do the review in my math lab with at least 100% before taking your test, okay? All right, please make sure that you make an appointment early. Do not wait to the last minute to try to sign up for the exam. All of our instructors are using, or a lot of our instructors are using the math solution, so it's gonna fill up very quickly. Whether you're doing it in person or virtually, you need to make sure that you make an appointment with Math Solutions for each of your exams as soon as possible, okay? Um, make sure that you have the technology that you need if you're doing it virtually. Make sure that you have uh, the technology that you need if you're actually coming in person too. Remember, either way, you have to scan and upload your work within five minutes, so make sure that you have all of that. Make sure that you have the required material and a picture ID. Make sure that you're prepared. Okay, the day of the exam, make sure that you plan a little bit of extra time in case something happens. Leave your house early if you're doing it in person. Um, get to your appointment early if you're doing it virtually in case there are any issues. So just plan ahead. Um, make sure again that you have all of the correct materials including the proper calculator. Um, and make sure that when you're opening the exam, it is the right exam. I had a couple of students last semester open the wrong exam. Uh, they did not take the correct exam and they ended up getting a zero. So um, please make sure that you're paying attention to the exam that you're doing, you're working on, and you're doing the correct one. Now, you will only have one attempt at the exam. So as soon as you open it, you must complete the exam in that one session. So uh, make sure that you're aware of that. There are also time limits on each of the exams. You should see a countdown as soon as it opens. So make sure that you're paying attention to that time limit and you're working accordingly. Okay? All right, now as you're taking the exam, you all need to make sure that you take out a separate sheet of paper and clearly and very organized show all of your work for every single problem. Um, you will not get credit, even if you have the right answer, if you do not show your work. In this class, there are certain topics where, uh, depending on your calculator, you can punch it in and it gives you the right answer. I'm not looking for that. I'm not grading you on if you know how to use your calculator. I'm grading you on if you know the calculus. So I am looking for you to show all of your work, just like I do in the videos. So for example, if I were to do a problem and it took me four decent steps to do that problem, it'd be worth four points. And if you don't show those four steps, you do not get those four points. So please make sure that you're showing all of your work. I have a few examples I'll show you real quick. They're not from Brief Calculus, they're from another class, but it'll give you a good idea of what not to do and what to do in order to earn credit. So here's an example of work that is chaotic. I don't know where number one is, I don't know where number two is, I don't know where number three is. It is all over the place. This student got a zero on an exam, which hurt their grade a ton. So please make sure that you're organized, you're clear, so you can get all of your credit. Here's an example ah, of beautiful work. I can see number one, there was no work for that question. Number two, in all of their work. Number three, in all of their work. Number four, in all of their work, step by step, what they're doing. I can clearly see every single step, this person got full credit on every single question. It's also important that you show your work for partial credit. Sometimes when you enter problems or answers in my math lab, you make one little mistake, but they mark you all wrong. 
I'm going to go back to your work and I'm going to try to look for all of your steps so I can give you as many points back as possible. So that's why it's important to show really clear organized work. So I can give you credit for right answers and I can give you partial credit for wrong answers. So please, please, please make sure that you show all, your, all of your work. Don't make me the bad guy and then after the fact say, well, I knew how to do it, I just didn't show the work. Make sure you show the work so you can get your full credit. Okay? All right, remember, the work must be scanned and uploaded in one document within five minutes of completing the exam. It's only fair that everybody gets it in within five minutes, not 10 minutes, not 30 minutes later. You have to make sure that you get it in right away. I don't know what you're doing in those 30 minutes. You might be searching answers and trying to get as much credit as possible. If it is not turned in within five minutes, you will also get a zero on your exam. Please don't make me the bad guy and have to do that to you. Just make sure that you've practiced scanning, you've practiced uploading, you've practiced doing it all in one document um, so that you can earn all the credit you deserve, okay? You're going to make sure that you upload it to the chapter 11, for example, work for full and partial credit assignment. When you do that, I'll be able to look through it. What I'm gonna do is um, annotate it and then send it back to you so you can see um, the credit that you got for each problem, okay? All right, so um, let me know if you have any questions. If you're unsure about anything, please let me know before the exam. Please make sure that you follow all the rules, all the expectations so that you can earn and you, and you can get all the credit you deserve um, um, so that you don't get a zero. <laughs>